Welcome to a Pinkaching training video. In this training video, we're going to be covering the settings page. To get to the settings page, just simply click settings. And you'll know you landed on the page because it'll say the name of the page, settings, in the top right hand corner. Now the settings page is very important to fill out all this information when you first install the software. It'll save you a lot of time and all the accounts you enter for the software even to submit to needs to be inputted in the settings page. Let's cover each and every tab under the settings page. First we'll do the submission form tab. This is the default settings for when you create a project. This is just to help you save a little time. I always keep my name as the pen name for every single project I do. So for me it was simply easy just to create a default pen name. This is completely optional but let me show you how this works. I go to Manage Projects, I click Create New Project, and you can see under the Pen Name tab, it's already done. The first name, last name, and email address are already pre-filled based off the settings page. So it just saves me a little time in the future. A quick note though about the email address. This email address is what will be used for directory submissions so you will get a flood of confirmation emails sent to whatever email address you use. For a lot of people I recommend that you create a special email or use an email address um, that isn't your primary email address. This way you, it won't affect you with getting a flood of new emails. But whatever you do, be sure you use a valid email address that you will check at least once a week. A lot of the emails that will come in will need to be have links clicked to confirm um, your submission. Next, let's go down here. Hide pen name, email address for sub URLs. Hide pen name, email address for projects. Uh, all these settings here. These settings, let me show you an example. We'll click them all to on. Go to manage projects. And we'll just pick a project. We'll add a new URL. And again, you can see the keywords tab, directory category, social bookmarking category, pen name. They're all grayed out and done. That's because of the settings I clicked here. Basically, it will allow me to skip most of the fields when adding in a new URL. And that's because it pulls in all the default data. Let me go back and show you. You see the keywords tab pulled in my keywords and now I can still edit these so even though it's grayed out I can still edit them directory category you know it's completely done there's no reason for me to ever go to this page social bookmarking no reason for me to ever go to this page and the pen name really for me all sub URLs I gray out directory category social bookmarking and pen name but I will usually leave keywords unclicked and that's because I almost always customize my keywords. Now, the, these options right here are still in beta, so what we're going to be doing in the future is when you go to a project and add a new URL, as you use this down arrow to cycle through the new URL wizard, once you get to the grayed out section, it will skip them and go straight to the submissions page. This is just going to save you massive amounts of time and less steps in the future. Right now the feature is not live and you can see when I click the next arrow it will still take me to those pages. But you can still set up your default settings now and that way in a short amount of time when we enable this feature it will save you some extra steps in clicking in the future. Next let's go to accounts. This is the first thing you're going to want to do when you install the software. Pinkaching stores all of your information over the cloud but it does all the submissions using your accounts and your computer so this means you need to input your own accounts to the software that's that the software submits to um, so our software can use your accounts to make these submissions just pull down this drop down menu and you'll see all the available sites that we submit to simply click one then click add new and you'll see it appear in this list and enter in your username and password for the site 
And then once you've entered your username and password, simply click check. You'll see up here, the software will then log in and check to make sure you've entered the right credentials. If you've entered the wrong credentials, it'll give you a red error message. If you've given the right credentials, it'll give you a green message like you see here. Now this is very important to use the check feature uh, because we've seen 75% um, of the time when there's a submission failure, it's because you actually entered the wrong password or wrong username. And it can be a bit cl uh, cl uh, tricky to get that uh, figured out. So this check feature is going to save you a lot of heartache in the future. Now this page is going to be completely revamped like the rest of the settings page. Right now you have to enter in accounts manually into Pinkaching and you can only have one account type. So you can't submit to one dig account for one project and a different dig account for a different project. As we introduce our powerful account creation tool very shortly, we're going to be allowing you to have multiple accounts and also the software will build the accounts actually for you. So this page is going to be completely revamped but in this version of Pinkaging, 0.24.3, this is how you'll have to set up your account um, for the software to be able to actually do submissions. So if there's any sites you don't enter accounts for, we will not be able to submit to those sites. Once you do that, oh, and uh, another quick note is everything in the settings page auto saves all the time. So anytime you change anything um, and leave the settings page, it automatically saves. So don't worry about entering this information and then accidentally uh, clicking a new tab and losing your information. We made it so it's constantly updating. That way for people who are spending all this time, they don't accidentally close the application and lose all this hard work. Next, let's go to the general settings tab. This is simply where you'll just enter your, uh, you can change your password to log in. At this time we do not allow you to change your login, but if you've ever liked to change your username, you can simply email our customer support and uh, make for the request and we can help you out with that. Lastly we have the manage URLs tab. This is what you can do to customize the manage URLs page. Let me show you an example. I'm just going to leave on hits and title. And we'll go to the manage URLs page and you can see now just the title and hits are visible. So basically this will allow you to in the settings page to customize what all you want displayed. Right now in this version of the software I simply display everything because we have the available room. And you can just simply customize uh, the sizing here and it will save those as well. So now I'm able to see everything. And I recommend that you leave everything checked for right now. We've added in this feature for the future as we roll out with updates which will put various icons in this area. Um, and in that case you are going to need to customize what you do want to see because you won't simply be able to display it all. But for now you can display it all so in the settings page I just leave all of these checked. This has been a video going over all of the settings. Uh, I hope uh, you uh, enjoyed the video and be sure if the settings page doesn't look similar to this video, make sure to see what version of the software you're running because in version 0.25 or 2.6 uh, we're going to be changing the whole settings page uh, drastically. A lot of the options are still going to be the exactly the same, but we're going to add new options and as I was ta telling you, uh, the accounts input screen is going to be completely different. Um, as we allow our account creation tool to build accounts for you and for you to have multiple accounts. Um, but it's still important to set all this up information up now and then as we come out with those updates in the future all your information will be saved, it'll just be reformatted in the new um, interface. Alright, thank you very much.